What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing work on the e-cart. That is our electric go-kart that we're making out of an old vintage Briggs and Stratton five horse go-kart. We're making it all electric. If you missed part one of this build, I'm going to get it to pop up over here somewhere. Bring you up to speed on that. Quick recap, basically we got an old go-kart. We're having to basically refurbish this thing along with putting a whole new drivetrain on it going all electric. Today I got all the electrical components. I got them mounted down on the bench and we're going to see if we can get this stuff to work. Kind of figure out what wires what and how it all needs to go together on this go-kart. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Now let's get after it. All right, we're setting up a little bench test here. We're going to see if all this works like we think it is. Um, doesn't really come with a lot of directions. You can go online and find some little wiring schematics. And that's basically what we're going off of here. We've got some loop wires on these batteries, 12 volt, 12, 12, 12, looped together. This is going to be 48 volts. Uh, we checked it with our multimeter to make sure. And that looks good. We have our pedal screwed down here. Let's move some of this other stuff out of the way. Uh, we have our motor. We put a couple screws to the bench in it so it's not going to jump around if it gets to going. Um, basically everything's plugged in. It's a lot of translated Chinese stuff. Some of it's hard to understand. So we've done some online poking around and looking. And just for temporary bench purposes, I just got some electrical tape on some of these connections to reach over here to our battery bank. Um, what else have we got here? We got the key ignition hooked up. We have the forward reverse hooked up. These wires are one, two, three speed switch. So for starters, we're going to try to keep them like this where none of them touch each other. If we touch the black to either one, the gray or the brown, it should either one should slow it down and the other uh, black to green. I think black to green is going to speed it up and black to brown is going to slow it down. With none of that connected, it should be in medium speed mode. And we go to connect them, I'm just going to clamp a couple wires together with some vice grips there. Engine wires hooked up, motor wires hooked up. So all we need to do now, supposedly, is hook our spade connectors positive and negative to the battery here and we should be able to arm it with the key make sure that's off for starters yep that's off so we'll set you guys down here anthony you ready bud yeah Let's set them down right here see if they can see where we're at oh yeah you guys can see that all right so we will hook up the lead wire positive Black wire, make sure everything's out of the way. Do the negative. She's juiced up. Juiced up. Now, if we hit the key, nothing should happen. Go. Ready? Okay. Now, we ease on the throttle. It's going to turn. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, our forward reverse is in stop. We've got to flip it to forward. Do you want to put it in forward? Push it up that way to forward. You want to do it? Go. Now let's start reverse. All right, do it. It should go this way this time. Let's watch and see. Yep. You got it all the way? All right, let go. Push it. 
think we did it right. It's faster and forward and slower in reverse, so that means we got something wired right. Yeah. Now, let's see if we hook the green and the black together, if it goes even faster. Alright, give it a test. Wait, forward? Yeah. Okay, give it a test. That's slow. So that's so green is low, I think. Now let's try gray or black to brown and see if it goes super fast this time. Careful with some of these. Alright, try it now. Yay! Things humming. charge connector, which I have a charge connector and a charger on the way. What's this one? Meter. So you can hook a voltage meter up to this and it'll give you a display when your battery is going to run dead. Uh, what else we got? We've got one called um, Indicator. And I got another one labeled as brake and supposedly this is a brake light. You can hook a little LED light into that. There we go. So Indicato you could put a little light on there, it will indicate if your machine is on or off, it looks like. So I think we got it going on, huh, buddy? Yeah, we do. You want to hit it again? With a big wing. Yeah! Booyah! So, now that we've got everything kind of figured out, we can figure out how to make it fit on the ride. Okay, now we're just playing around. we got the chain on here now. Uh oh. Easy cheesy. Yeah. Does that look dangerous? Yeah. You think it looks dangerous? Yeah. But we take it easy. Whoa! Now we gotta find a place for all these batteries in this motor, control module, and whatever else to fit on here. So, I was just gonna get a big piece of sheet metal and plate this whole back end off and build some tie down brackets, whatever, to hold all this stuff on, but I couldn't find a piece of metal big enough. So, I've got some angle iron here that I think I'm gonna get two pieces of angle iron like this, make kind of like rails, and the batteries will kind of set in the rails with a strap going over them. With this aluminum, I'll probably use it to make the strap that'll go over the batteries to hold it in, kind of see when we get it going. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is cut this existing motor mount plate off of here. It looks like it's just got four little welds, two on each side like that. I'm going to try and grind them out. Let's get this plate out of the way and mock some stuff up in here and see what we think about it. Yesterday, 
And I did, uh, I did mock up some stuff on here. Uh, I think I'm using this for the battery tray, like I said, and using this piece here to strap over it. I really can't get any of that any further until my new sprocket comes in. We have to move the sprocket, and until I get the new one on here mounted where I need it, there's not really much further I can go with this without knowing exactly how all that's gonna line up and sit on there. So, all that's kinda on pause. I think hopefully tomorrow that sprocket comes in. So meanwhile, I think I'm gonna make a little dash panel piece for underneath the steering wheel right here. And that'll have like the key switch and some of the other stuff on there, forward reverse and three speed. I can also start working on the seat a little bit. This seat right here is junk and we're getting rid of that. We're gonna build us a new one. I just got some plywood, basically gonna do similar to what this is, try to make it look a little nicer though. I got some three quarter and some half inch uh, plywood here and I'm gonna cut out some pieces, put the T, what do they call them, T-nuts? T-nuts that goes in, hammer them into the wood. So, I think I'm gonna start with this little dash panel though. Right here, got this piece of plastic I'm gonna make it out of. I actually cut this out of a old paint, uh, paint tray right here. Repurposing stuff. So, basically just gonna trim it down and try to get it where it kind of, let's see if we can get in there, where it kind of fits like this, and I'll just cut screw it onto there, and being that some of this stuff mounting to it is plastic, especially this piece here for the Ford Reverse, being it's plastic and it doesn't have much of a lip to hang on to there, I feel like it's gonna be best if we use some epoxy to help hold it in there, and I think that plastic's gonna do good with the epoxy. Um, what else? I think that's it, we got the switch. Oh, and my three-speed switch came in today. So, no more vice grips on the three-speed deal here. Get rid of that, and we can actually run the actual three-speed switch. So we'll have a hole, what to drill for this. We'll have a hole to make for the key, and a hole to make for this. First thing I want to do though is go ahead and get this thing traced out and cut to the size I want it and clean it up a little bit. So, let's get to it. drying out here still not quite dry how's it looking not looking bad I'm gonna let that dry oh god I did it I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more meanwhile I'm getting started on the seat got me a piece cut for the bottom just some three-quarter plywood we will drill some holes to line up with this hole and this hole Put some T-nuts in here. We'll bolt, bolt it in from the back. Going to do the same thing on this back piece. So I think I'm going to round these corners out a little bit. That way when we wrap it, it ought to wrap a whole lot better. Get my jigsaw and do a little bit of...
Well, let's see how she fits. What do you think? I think we can roll with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, it fell down. All right, we'll get some holes marked, drop some T nuts in there, and we'll be ready to cover it. Good job. Start at the bottom and do another coat all the way over again. Yep. Good job. Good job, buddy. We'll let it dry a minute and we'll do one more coat, okay? You like it? Yeah. All right. I don't think that was recording. Again, I do that all the time. So here it is. Got it on there, show you what we got. Got our little dashboard here. It's plastic, but I think it's gonna do good. Got our ignition on off. Got our low, medium, high switch. And our reverse stop forward switch. We're gonna take this back off when we paint. Wanted to go ahead and get it on before paint so we don't scratch the new paint up drilling these holes because they're kind of hard to drill on that rounded bar there. So if it works as good as it looks. All right. Got our foam for the seat. I'm gonna cover the seat up today. Got a little surprise for you on this. We're not gonna just do plain black. We got a little something fun we're doing right here. We got our, hopefully, some of the last components we're going to need to get this thing finished up as far as major components go, but we got a new hub and sprocket. This sprocket right here, like I said before, I think it's uh, number 35 is what they call the chain size on it. And what we need is an eight millimeter metric chain. So had to get a new sprocket, went ahead and got a new hub. This one, I guess is missing. Um, maybe there's supposed to be a collar here or something that holds it. So somebody put this fancy nail through the axle. I guess it worked, but the one we got, the new hub we got here has like set screws that are gonna go in it to hold it on there. The sprocket itself, I couldn't find one that actually fits the bolt holes on the hub. Um, so we're gonna have to redrill. I don't know if I'm gonna redrill. Yeah, probably redrill the sprocket. Looks like it's gonna be a whole lot easier. Probably redrill this sprocket to fit the hub. But first things first, I want to go ahead and get this seat covered because it's just gonna be fun. So I just realized I forgot to put my T-nuts in this board and I already put the foam on it. So that's freaking great. They're sitting here in this bag. Supposed to be sitting here in this wood so that we can mount it. So I don't know. I'm gonna try and get a little tricky with it. Oh, well, it's nice and thick.
this all over again. Na 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 Waste more glue. Not wasting it, just using it. Then, line our marks up. What's up, buddy? Nothing. You riding your bike out there? Yeah. Okay. Got that gator skin, baby! What? Let's go test fit them, see what we think about it. Right there, let's see. Oh yeah, that's probably good for now because we'll still have to take it back apart when we paint. Tried to keep all those seams as hidden as I could in here. What? Got that gator skating. Anthony, you like it? Up high. All right. All right, see what you think about it, buddy. Comfortable, pretty good. It's gonna make for a good go-kart seat. Give it a little bounce bounce. Bounce it, there you go. Is it good? Awesome, buddy. That's gonna look good. We got this green paint. We're gonna do the frame. What we got here? Jungle! Welcome to Jungle! Gonna do all the frame in that green, have that blue seat. It's gonna be a little two-tone, looking good, buddy. Looking good. We're gonna wrap this episode up right here. In the next episode, I hope to get this thing wrapped up. We still got a lot to do. We gotta get the thing painted. We got some more fabricating to do. And we gotta get all these components mounted on it. If you like this content, Please like, subscribe, share, whatever you can do to help the channel out. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.